Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick video, I wanna cover how do you hide unused fields or columns um, that you're not really planning to use or currently using in your Tableau workbook. And um, this video was inspired just by the idea that, you know, a lot of people want their workbooks to process faster. Uh, maybe every time you try and build a worksheet or apply a filter, it takes a long time. And there's a lot of different factors that go into workbook performance. I mean, it could be the number of rows of your data source, the number of fields, the complexity of those values, how many calculations you have, what kind of calculations, your computer's memory, like the list just goes on and on. There's a ton of factors that go into this, but certainly one of them is how many columns of data you have. And I think we probably all had experiences where we've connected to tables of data and, you know, maybe it was 50 or 100 columns and you only needed five or 10 of those, right? I could think of a specific scenario with a client where they reached out because their uh, content was moving slowly. It took a minute for a filter to update. Um, they had created an extract. It was only 15,000 rows of data. I went and looked at it and they'd used custom SQL and Tableau to join, I think like 25 tables and it was 1400 columns. Turns out they were only using 40 of those columns. Uh, so hiding those columns had a huge, huge impact on performance, hiding the ones they weren't using. Um, so there's a couple ways of doing this. One of those is just sort of one off hiding the columns you don't need. Um, you can do this in the data source tab or in a worksheet. Um, so for example, if I go back here and I'm like, you know, I'm doing some kind of world healthcare comparisons, but I don't care about CO2 emissions for this analysis. So I could kind of go through and, and sort of one by one hide the columns I don't need. If you want a little bit more efficient way to do that, if I break out this table details uh, tab, then I can see more fields at once. So I could say, yeah, I'm not really interested in hours to do tax or lending interest or mobile phone usage. So I could just control select and hide all of those at once, okay? So hiding columns in a live or direct connection, <clears throat> it might have a little bit of an impact uh, on performance. I think that could be helpful, but I think where you're gonna see the biggest performance is if you hide columns and then you create an extract. Um, so what I mean by that is right now I have a live data source or a direct connection. You can see it's just the, uh, the little single cylinder icon up there next to world indicators. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on that world indicators data source and then say extract data. Uh, we've got a full video on extract, so I'll go ahead and, and link out to that if you wanna get more into this world. Uh, but I can either just straight up extract here and then Tableau is gonna create a little file, a local file of my data source that doesn't have the hidden columns in it. And then actually there's a button here to say hide all unused fields. Uh, so that's that can be really nice if you have a thousand columns and you wanna hide the ones you're not using. The only tricky thing is if there's any fields you're not using now, but maybe you're gonna use it in the future, it's gonna hide that because it's not in active use in a worksheet. Um, so my tip would just be, you know, create an extra worksheet and just throw fields in there uh, that you think you might use, but you're not sure um, before selecting hide all unused fields. Um, so then it, especially in this case, like if I create an extract, you know, I've just hidden, I think we hid manually like five fields. So this is gonna be more efficient because there's less data for Tableau to process uh, just in all the steps and everything that it's doing. So I hope this was helpful in giving you a little bit of a backdrop into how to hide unused fields. And I guess maybe I should show you how to unhide them just in case you ever need to do that. Um, you can do that again from within the worksheet. You're gonna hit the drop down here. Oh, I've got, I gotta get off the extract. So let me deselect use extract. Um, so if I hit this drop down here, I can say show hidden fields. A uh, similar option is available here in the data source tab. Nope, that wasn't it. Let me hit the gear icon here, uh, show hidden fields. And then if I ever wanna bring it back, if I'm like, you know, actually CO2 emissions, yeah, maybe I do need that after all. I can always hit the drop down and unhide. Remember though that the hidden field will not be a part of an extract. So you'd have to go back to a live connection or direct connection to be able to bring back a hidden field. Cool. So hope this was helpful for you. Gave you some backdrop into how to hide fields, how to unhide them. Um, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner, we run Tableau classes every month um, from the basics of Tableau desktop to advanced calculations to Tableau prep. We would love to have you join us for one of those in the future. Um, and thank you for being here. We drop new videos every week and we'd love to have you follow along for that as well. So thank you so much. And until next time, talk to you soon.